Greetings and salutations, folks. My name is Nick, and welcome back to Clive Barker's Jericho, where we return to the Roman era, which is like the previous eras. Um, this area actually kind of has a little bit of color going on to it. You can you can actually see the like the beige and the red. Like, most of this game is just really, really grayed out. But, like... Shit, not you again. Look there! Oh. <gasps> that guy flew. Most of it is just this grayed out. No more targets, sir. Well, at least we got, we got a little bit of red in this room. You, you know, they, they just said, oh, we need Delgado here. Only, only big muscles can can properly lift. Oh, my gosh. She has tele telepathy. Not telepathy. Telekinesis. And her telekinesis is strong enough that it can knock over, like, boulders. Eyes on target. And other obstructions. But her telekinesis cannot lift a gate. Though, like, I feel like that's less about the game. Like, the developers not providing alternate solutions to uh, problems. And also more towards, like, the budgets. Yeah, maybe a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Like, I'm sure they, like, they couldn't afford more animations for ever, all the like there's a reason why we have just the Delgado doors and we have that one boss that we fought several times and we have that these several uh, enemies that show up in every era because they can only afford to animate um, and create so many assets and to have every single era be a completely diverse range, biodome Sounds good. Nah. It's too bad they also throw at a sniper range, too. Nah. I tried. It's never worked, though. Excellent. Hmm. All right, I gotcha. No, stop running away. Just because you're a sniper doesn't mean I treat you like somebody who's just running into the face of battle. Okay, you cannot slow down the bullet. That would have been convenient, but you know. You can't expect everything in Clive Barker's Jericho. Ah, it's okay. It does seem to, like, just repeatedly stagger them. Like, there's no escape from the stun lock. Which I'm perfectly fine with. Alright. I don't know if enemies are to my side. Are they just coming from one stairwell? There we go. Yeah, they're just coming from the right stairwell, which makes me think that the right stairwell is progress. But they both seem to lead to the same place, so... Oh, hello. Ah, you think you're going to get me with your spears, Roman? Ah. See, you add splashes of color and you get an interesting looking level. It's just like a little disappointing that it takes like almost the entire game to get to this point. 
Like, a lot of the other levels just aren't interesting to look at. And now you've got this... Ammo resupply in progress. I guess they're still fighting guys. It's still a bit too gray. There's still too much gray. Oh, hello. Oh, I thought he was facing the other way. Ammunition inbound, sir. All too easy. Was that it? Go, go, go! Advancing. You know, I tell them to stay, they they run. I tell them to run. Or I hope that they are going to be following me and they're just all the way back at the beginning because one shield guy is holding them back. No. Oh. Is there a second shield guy? There is second shield guy. Third shield guy even. Yes. Okay, who do I have to switch to in order to progress? Oh, never mind. The door is just open now. Fantastic. You know, they really like this painting with with the hooks. It's it's very um Hellraiser reminiscent. Jesus wept. Let's move along. And they like this, this bust. Like, there's a lot of those going on. Nope, oh, nope, that's just the other side. I imagine we're going to have to switch to Delgado in order to raise this gate. Yep. You know, that's one of the reasons why I like the game stacking a lot. Um, if you've ever we to be the world or Come on, heard of the game stacking, it's a game from Double Fine in which you play as Russian dolls, like those Russian nesting dolls. And the idea is that you play as the smallest Russian ru nesting doll and you can jump into other dolls and take over their abilities. Oh, hello. Have you come we'll stop this. We'll, I'll try to remember I was talking about uh, stacking. He's inside my head. Uh, won't you come closer? He's a lot shorter than I was expected. So weak over time. <sighs> Jesus. Is that magic I smell amongst you? Why? This isn't another batch of outsiders come to ruin our party, is it? Oh, I love your kind more than any other. The sport is almost as satisfying as the flesh. I got first dibs on the fat man. Oh, are we backing up into a trap? Getting anywhere near him. Are we gonna and like? Are this? we in a trap? You bring witches with you too. <laughs> You honor me. It's been so long since I tasted of both sexes. Sir, 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 the that's a little sword, transphobic Let's of you. Begin, shall we? It's a trap, sir. Yeah, that was a pretty obvious trap. Rikus has enjoyed literally thousands of years of continuous sexual gluttonous and bloody orgies. Not sexual orgies. I can't believe he's been had continuous sexual orgies. And has no intention of attending now. He'll do all he can to prevent those sent to close the breach and remove his hellish appetite. So stacking, uh, real quick like. Um, you solve puzzles by stacking yourself into other Russian dolls of different types, uh, and each one has their own ability. Um, 
the neat thing about stacking that is very, very, very rare, extremely rare, this is the only example I know of it, is it is one of those adventure games in which there are multiple solutions to any given puzzle. You, there's, uh, you can stack into one character, you can stack into a different character, but there are multiple paths you can choose to solve any of those given puzzles. And that's something you don't see too often. Um, and something that you could probably should see, especially if you're dealing with a lot of characters with different abilities. Um, consider the scene in uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League. I say Zack Snyder's because the scene in the theatrical release is a little bit cut down. Um, and that's the scene where everybody's jumping over the gap. Um, you see Wonder Woman jump over, over the gap. You see Superman fly. You see Batman um, use his grappling hook. Uh, you see Cyborg use his jets. Uh, the Flash goes super fast. But like each of them has their own method of solving the given problem. Whereas like a lot of games like Clive uh, Barker's Jericho, where each character has a specific utility. Like um, there's no shared utilities. If you don't have that character... Like, that character is the always the one who does that. And I feel like it would make these kinds of games more interesting if you could have multiple characters do a specific thing. Like, um, if there's something in the, in the way that needs to be knocked down. I'm pretty sure Delgado is probably tough enough to knock it down. Like, it doesn't necessarily need telekinesis. I'm pretty sure Black can use her telekinesis to raise the gate. It doesn't have to be just muscles. What is what, what's powering telekinesis? Is it her muscles that grant her strength? Something about this stinks. And for once it's not me. Because usually I smell like shit. Oh my god. Oh, such a pile of shit is what I smell like day in, day out. But this time, oof, not me. Oh, are we in the Coliseum? I was pretty sure we would end up in the Coliseum at some point. Okay. Uh. So wait, was he this fat when, like, they were, they found hell? Or did he become this fat and then he, uh, he got the statues built? I guess I'll help. Oh, never mind. Somebody else did. There we go. No, not Jones. Yep, wrong button. I'll get to you, Rawlings. Because you're, for some reason, the only other character besides the player character who can resurrect people. That's what I mean. Like, why does it always have to be just... No, hello. Okay. Oh, Take that! You lose!
There we go. Anybody else want some? I think these guys definitely want some. Yes. Oh, more of these guys on the other side of the uh, arena. Excellent. Nice. We are pretty awesome. These are just like the tiles we found in the garden. Same drill, guys. Okay, how do... Now, is there a second and third? Advance to waypoint, Alpha. Roger. Oh, are we actually going to set up, uh, separate our groups? Like, uh, are the bridges going to retract? Good, good. Keep it coming. No, that that would have been too interesting. Advance. Hello. Okay, let's get back to our character. That's right, you need that drill that will play. No, why did he how did you and oh my god. Of this thing? Ah. You're a lot faster than I was expecting. Follow me! Leave it with me! There we go. Ah, damn it. Look out! Son of a No, Rawlings, I accidentally killed you. That's gonna be so for a while. Ah, no me. another one of them. Hopefully just one, but still very... Like, we just fought one of these guys.
Let's switch to church. No, not church. Let's switch to coal. Yes, enjoy the paradox. No, okay. Wow, that was fast. All right, all right, let's. Oh, did we get him? We got him. I'm hoping not no party wipes because there I don't know if there's been a checkpoint. I haven't noticed. I might have missed the arrival of any checkpoints. Are we going this way? Slow it down, guys. Spidey sense is dead. Yeah, we already fought one of these guys. Look at that. Yeah, we already fought one of these guys though. This isn't news. Just hit in the back. Nap. Now. Alright. Okay, the fire spirit wants nothing to do. Jones is seriously wounded. All right, let's pick up Delgado. Switch to Logato. Switch to Cole. Yeah, I'm basically my own army of two in this game. Switch to Delgado. He was just resting. You hear that? Switch to coal. Delgado again. I think we got him, though. Maybe. Okay, let's go to this side so that we can have other guys as well. Let's switch to Rawlings. There we go. Are you telling me that I won't like you when you're angry? I, I can only assume that's what he's trying to say.
Jericho's successful defeat of Zvika's pets moves them closer to removing the insatiable governor from power. Yes, let us do that. The presence here is it's so immense. Ancient. Enough of this folly. Allow me to show you how to entertain these good people. <laughs> Seems like that seems like the way, but I mean, that's still really gross. Switch to uh, somebody else. need everybody to not stand in the same place. Oh my gosh, why, why, why are you trying to... Let's pick up Rawlings. Jones. Pick a pole. Am I supposed to actually be shooting the contraption or? For him. It's hard to tell whether I'm doing damage against that nah, against him. Try as Delgado. Everybody is low on ammo. Uh, 
He has armor on the back as well. Switch to Rawlings for a second. Ah. Did we get him? I believe the breach is in the abyss below. There are ley lines emerging from Vicus's corpse. Let me push the fat bastard over then. All right, we'll switch to black. Oh. I was wondering if I had to do what something now? else. Yeah. Where else can we go? This has to be the last level of the Pixis. The Prince said we passed through three before we reached the firstborn itself. The question is, how far will the rabbit hole take us this time? I think we better go. Okay. All right, I was going to say, what am I actually supposed to do? Because there's a gap. Um... Once again, it's interesting to note that, like, you can see there are issues in the budget of the game just comparing the instruction manual to the game itself. Like, the instruction manual mentions that there are seven times, like, this is the seventh time we're stopping the firstborn. So, in theory, that means there should be six previous time periods uh, that we'd be traveling through. Um, but the game could only afford. Five? What's okay? Let's see. There's the modern day. World War Two. Templars, Romans, original time. The Sumerian. The the original time slice where the seven Sumerian priests held the fast burn for the first time. The origin of all. The seed of all evil. What am I unlocking these things for? Dear God in heaven. Jesus Christ from... on a crutch. Damn it. He's around before us. I mean, I had to take the shot while he was there. This actually doesn't look half bad. Usually games get worse uh, in, in scope as you get farther and farther in. But you know... Oh, these guys. Actually, hold on. Let's switch to um, Delgado. Like, Delgado's fire demon is, like, probably the best at dealing with... With the explosive ones. No. Alright. 
No, not Jones. His power is so Oh my gosh. Like, I'm trying to keep an open mind. It's tough. Clive Barco's Jericho makes it tough to keep an open mind. But, like, I'm uh, eventually this game kind of sort of has its moments. Jonesy, you okay? Oh, I didn't even realize the computer you had taken yourself, control. Brothers and sisters, you are welcome here. Who's there? Show yourself! I am Antaduranu, the founder of your brotherhood. I have waited eons to pass on my knowledge so that you may seal the wound and banish this abomination from our world. Then you know why we're here. We've been sent to close the breach. Yes, as were the priests of this temple. The High Priestess Arishkagal was seduced by the Firstborn through her dreams and taught the blood rites that opened the breach. She led an army of 10,000 across the desert from the city of Ur to build this temple. And when the construction was complete, she slaughtered them all. As their blood ran down the steps of the temple, the breach was Oh, it's a good thing everybody already knows what's going on. The earth again. But we seven have disguised ourselves amongst her army to follow her into the Pyxis. What happened to the others? Lost all Oh my gosh, this is a long speech. By our betrayal, Erishkagal unleashed the power of the Firstborn to transform the others into the demons that now guard her. Only I escaped to close the breach and seal the Pyxis. I knew that my seal would not last forever, so with the last of my power, I sent a message out. I commanded my disciples to establish a sacred order to hold vigil and guard against the return of Arishkigel and the Firstborn. Jericho. That is but one of the names our order has worn through the eons. Impressive so how he happens change, to know that Jericho duty, is, or is he just dis accepting same. that it is? You must close the breach or the Firstborn will take revenge on mankind. Tell us how. The demons that guard the temple have each claimed a piece of me. Slay them and reassemble me so that I can reseal the breach and then the world will be Or is this again. going to be like Castlevania-esque uh, twist in you. which like you collect We've the pieces of Dracula and uh... And it just summons Dracula. It doesn't stop him. And then you must fight him after you summon him. All right, let us enter the city. Seek out the five pieces of whatever his name was. It's already been too long. One, two, three, four, five, six. Man, hey there. This is actually kind of cool. Um...
I was not expecting this game to actually get genuinely interesting towards the end. Like, it is so... It, it's... It, like, ranges from bad to mediocre to, like, interesting, but still those things at the beginning to, like, the first half. Jericho has gone. Without his team, Ross is alone. If he wants to resuscitate and Tandaruno, he'll have to get to the urns that hold the ashes. But first, he must find a body. And then he must get inside that body. Shh. Ross. I'm here. God, I hate when you do that. Don't worry, I'm just inside you. And luckily, you are my favorite Avenger, so, you know. Yeah. Okay, th that's fine. We're good. And take this. Ah, that was that was the door opening villain. Ah. There we go. Hello. Would you like to be stunned momentarily? What about again? Like, I feel like her move set is very easy to abuse. Can we clear the path, Abby? She her telekinesis can just frick knock down a door. I'm pretty sure it could lift open the gates. And because I'm using Abby, the ghost bullets, like Jones. I'm almost there. Don't worry. Like, I'm not using any ammo in the process. Ah, that's okay. That's okay. We're good. Hmm. You're real close to me. I can feel it. Uh, I keep trying to turn, but the Come corridors on, are too there. narrow. Ah, uh, that's okay. We get we we got it still. Hey, Jones. Like, am I supposed to do something? Is there something I can do with you on that side? Like, there's nothing for me to possess. So how does he expect me to... Am 
must be another way out of here, right? Shit, not you again. Who's not you again? Oh, Ross. Come with me, Ross. We need to find a way to open this door. Sir, you are in a small room with no openings in the ceiling or floor. What is that sound? Oh, it's you. Can you feel that? We're close to the source. Maybe one of those poor bastards up there can lead us to the door switch. There we go. Excellent. We are the good at video game players. Permission to fire! No. Permission denied. I think we got both of them. Excellent. You know, I thought I was actually going to have to wait until next time to finish the game, but we're getting pretty close, actually. Black and Jones are united. The urn containing and Tanduranu skin is near. Also, again, not the first time that uh, you have to, in, in a Clive Barker scenario, that you're reassembling somebody. Uh, just look again at Hellraiser. Oh, hello. Are you done? I think they're done. Unless, are you a thing? Jones, we need to find a way to open the Iron Maiden. Oh wait, yeah. Switch to you. Switch to you. Yep. Fucker! Okay. Okay. Jones. 
You... Black. Now, other defenses are down. Wrong button. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, which way were we going and which way did we come from? Oh, hello. <laughs> nice arrival. Miss me? Let's stick together this time. Where was all this in the beginning? Okay, I'll st I'll stop now. Like, I feel like that's what what makes this section more interesting like the than the earlier sections. The earlier sections are more linear hallways with wave after wave of, of the same enemy types. And now we're getting, like, the style, the substance. Contact has been lost with the rest of the team. They must be located before the demons get to them. That sounds reasonable. I I think they can they would appreciate being contacted before demons get to them. Take this. Yeah, nice. All too easy. That was a miss. Excellent. I have my moments. They're not often, but they're there. That was easy. No, you've jinxed us. You've called it out. Oh, hello. Another one of these guys. Okay. Should I be shooting at first? Like, this one seems to be in red whenever I point the gun at him.
Okay, I'm gonna have to do something with these gears. I'm not entirely sure what. Like, do I just shoot the gears? Yes. Let's switch to Delgado. I know. I think there's a dead guy on these. Now I get it. Kind of. on the wheels. Then he extends out. Let's switch to Delgado. I think we're done. in melee skirmishes. There we go. Okay. 
think I'm gonna have to do this technically one more time. Excuse me, I'm busy. Ah. Oh, Father Rawlings is down. Okay, let's hope that... Oh my gosh. Now I think he's got it. He and she. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's just... Guys. Miss us? The other party members have just shown up. Didn't we already do this very slowly? Hell and church have finally appeared. The Sumerian demons lie in wait to destroy Jericho. In blood. Oh, we're oh, never mind. We're we're back together again. Just just a whole lot of teleportation for some reason. Um. Yep. They're the demons of death and decay! Get rid of the fires and they're powerless! I got her. Can I help you? How do we get rid of flies? That might have been a bit much. Where was I? now. God damn it.
Okay, let's try... Explosions. Uh, you were busy taking out the flies. Not entirely sure how many more flies I'm gonna have to deal with. I wager there's, yeah, there's at least one more. Alright, alright, I'll, I'll hell, head over, I'll be guys out. Is that it for you? Cease fire, cease fire. No, I will not cease. That's all of them. I'm like wondering, like, where do we go? For more teleportation. From the power of our... Our new... Ugh. The resurrection ritual that has taken place. So many times over thousands of years is about to begin for the last time. The survival of the species depends on the sacrifice of these seven soldiers. Once again, I am given flesh. Congratulations. It's a boy. You have succeeded in your sacred duty. Your sacrifice for mankind will never be forgotten. What happens now? I will bind myself to the breach. Once the gateway is closed, we will sleep until we are called on to guide our brothers and sisters once again. Will we... Will we dream? It is a dreamless sleep. And in joining us, you will share in the knowledge of all who have come before you 
and be one with them. Our peace will only be broken when evil men again seek to build us. Once again, I find myself asking, is this Dracula? I must go now. The breach widens. I guess this is it. Is he going it's to been betray a us? Serving with you, Xavier. Hold on to me, Frank. Ross, can you hear me? I'm here. What's gonna happen to you? I don't know. Whatever it is, gonna be much worse than this. Are you scared? Are you? No. Simone, are you okay? I'm okay. I wonder sir. if you would get unique sorry, dialogue based on who you were you playing in the previous level. I would, would you expect. Like to pray with me? I'm an atheist, sir. I guess not then. <laughs> he's lying. What? I said he's lying. You believe that bullshit about a dreamless sleep? Am I the only one that's been paying attention? Look, I understand your apprehension, but... What about the others? The Templars? The Centurion? They're not dreaming. They're not one with the great beyond. They're losing their minds in purgatory, exactly where we're gonna find ourselves when he closes that breach. That bastard is lying through his gold fucking teeth. What are you suggesting? We fight. If I'm gonna die here, I'm gonna die with my hands around the throat of whatever waits on the other side. I can't let you do that. Don't even think it. Stop it, both of you. Get out of the way, Billy. Wait, let's just think about this a minute, okay? Uh, maybe he's right. We have a sacred duty to perform. Sacred duty, my balls. We've been lied to, asshole. And I'm starting to think you've been in on it the entire time. Black, secure Delgado. What if he's right? Something doesn't make sense. I gave you an order. Damn it, Paul. Would you listen to me? I'm the ranking officer here. No, you're not. What the hell do you think you're doing, Ross? He's going to destroy everything. There's a whole world outside full of innocent people. You think your life isn't worth saving that? I think he's right, Paul. Have you lost your fucking mind? My mind is the only thing I haven't lost today. Okay, we're not going to talk about it. Jericho Squad, let's do this. All right, we've, we've gone past the point of no return. It's your choice, Rawlings. I won't force you to follow What us. other choice is there at this point? Like you're you're either in it or you're out or you're dead. Well, exa exactly. There's no turning back in his arrogance. Frank Delgado has perhaps sealed the fate of all of humanity. At the moment when the firstborn came down to Earth, he was on the other side. But can a god be killed? Find out tonight at 7. Can a god be killed? I am your host, Frank Delgado. I just shot a guy. Where was all this at the beginning, first half of the game? Like, I'm now somewhat upset, because this is a game that actually does feel like it could have been pretty good. But, like, the first, like, the whole first two-thirds is just so underdeveloped. We? We're at the bottom of a huge chasm. Spectral analysis indicates a massive, unstable energy source nearby. Nice of you to join us. I never was very good at following orders, holy or otherwise. Cole, can you give me a location on that energy source? It's moving fast and closing on us. It's going to come out of that tunnel, sir. At last, the final pieces of the puzzle. Has the child is the firstborn? What it is to have a soul. Draw light insects to the light of power. Only to be added to my own. 
Okay, I oh, do I do like their uh, the rest of their voice. Keep him talking. Sir! You're not gonna find us as easy to drain as leech. Possibly. But anything worth more. having is worth fighting something. for. And after I've absorbed your power, power, I will finally have enough to break, break free of this prison. Now come to her. Sir, I believe he is going to channel our powers against us. However, if you're currently in possession of if you're currently in possession of He's vulnerable against the same magic that he's using against the squad. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is this is becoming a very annoying fight. Oh, that's Arnold Leach. But wait, what kind of... How do I know what kind of magic he's using in comparison to the magic that I have? a very confusing fight. Possess the currently exploited character to turn the magic against the firstborn. This 
is incredibly... Oh my god. Alright. You know, the game realized I was praising it. Like, it knew I was saying nice things about, about it. And it couldn't have that. When you're bring you back. Oh my gosh. I wish I was able to switch characters while that was going on. I have to just use her ability that pushes away. So what do I use during Rawlings phase? Do I just use his... Uh... doing anything. Billy, no! Jesus, that was close. Rolling this down! Mm. Oh my god, Frank! Yeah, this was real bad. <laughs> Hold on. I don't think I've ever really used uh, Rawlings. Ability, like, past the point of the tutorial, though. Hang on, Abby! Help's coming! Shit, not again! All right, all right, I got... Jesus, Rawlings! Oh my gosh. You look like you need your own medicine. Jesus! Oh my God, Frank! Mm. He's down! <laughs> like, I'm spending so much time reviving people that I am barely aware of what I'm doing in the fight. Yeah, I'm working on it. Or do I have to heal others? Like, is that why we've got the Again, I don't think I've ever really figured out what... He's down. He's down. Hang on, Abby. Help's coming. Hold on. Keep it together. Okay, so it does seem like I'm supposed to use... The ghost heal, oh my gosh, to damage 
Uh, the firstborn. this again. I think this is working. Ah. Okay, let's... Like, they don't provide very good distractions because they all just kind of die. Like, how long do I have to do this? Take your word on that one. Must have an angel watching over me. Hold on, am I using Perish the wicked in the presence of the Lord? Am I doing it right? Am I using the right button? Oh my gosh. This piece of shit. Alright. Supposedly again, like. Oh my gosh. Oh my son of a... Like, one walkthrough said to use Ghost Heal, the other one said to use his other ability. And it's hard to tell if it's doing anything. Perish the wicked in the presence of the Lord! Keep it together, Billy! I'm coming! Is it doing anything before I get interrupted by his unblockable attacks and unavoidable attacks? Okay, maybe I just need to stand still. Oh, it's because I've never let go of... Hold on. Because I've never correctly used that ability. I've always thought that you needed to just hold down the button. But you're just supposed to hold it down for a little bit, and then let go. I blame the game on this one for not properly teaching me how to actually use the ability long before I needed it. <sighs> Alright, let's carry on. Hopefully the rest of this fight goes as easy as the people online are saying it is. Demon was 
not as strong as my demon. Ah, uh, yeah, he moves very slowly. And conventional arms don't do anything, so I'm just kind of waiting for him to... ...to take over the next person. And I think that should be it. Unless there's no quick button for the last one. I started this. Let me finish it. Is there an escape for the surviving members of Jericho? Will Ross survive once he leaves once they leave the Pixis? What was I expecting? What on earth was I expecting? Oh my gosh. Well, that was Clive Barker's Jericho. A game that it's... Overall, it's still bad. It's got its moments. There, there's, there's just like that moment, like especially towards the end, where I was like, all right, I can get into this. But... Like, there's so much that doesn't work in this game. Uh, the oversaturated art style. The linear hallways where you fight wave after wave of disposable villains. Um, the squad-based combat where your squad is paper thin and you're constantly bringing them back to life over and over and over again. Um, like, it does actually... It does have some things going for it like uh like the squad abilities are neat and especially like towards the end once i started to kind of like really kind of get the using of the abilities against the vos i was having a better time not to mention the fact that uh the levels themselves were getting more interesting towards the end um and the setting is not a it's, it, the setting is interesting the idea of this kind of like city frozen in time each our part of this city uh is its own layer in time based on when this firstborn was sealed away but i wonder like if there was another way they could have presented the story that would have actually made the characters more interesting from the beginning like instead of just throwing a ton of exposition at the beginning because we eventually get all this exposition uh, elsewhere. Um, the best uh, example of this I can think of in regards to other projects is like you look at the Wonder Woman movie. The Wonder Woman movie be begins with a whole bunch of exposition. But like, like the characters still tell people what's going on later on. So it's like, did we need that exposition? And I, I want to say the same thing goes here. Uh, it makes, like, the beginning of the games, the story is just kind of like you're thrown in there and it's just less interesting because of it. The city is less interesting that you jump into at the beginning. It just kind of seems like a mock-up of, like, a Middle Eastern city before detail is put in. Like, I, I think Chris Clive Barker's Jericho could have actually been interesting maybe a bigger budget maybe some different design changes like uh, less uh, just hold back on the heavy desaturation show us color show us the blood 
We came here for the blood and everything's gray. Also, it would have been nice not having to stop fighting bad guys just to pick up my allies every two seconds. That, that would have been nice, too. Got any suggestions for something to play next? Leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have yourselves a good night.